Hi guys, it's Ian Coleman. It is Tuesday the 25th of May 2021, 11.37 in the morning in the UK. In this video, I want to revisit uh, Bitcoin. Uh, now we did a video on the 12th of May warning of a potential top in place and uh, the scope for a strong uh, move to the downside. We've obviously seen that. So what happens now for Bitcoin and other um, cryptocurrencies? Let's have a look at the charts. This is going to look very complicated uh, on uh, first impressions. I'm going to talk you through uh, these charts and basically highlight what I'm seeing, what I'm expecting, what indicators I've, I've already had, what's driving it lower, what's potentially stopping uh, this sell-off and where we are now. That's more important in uh, a sequence. So first of all, I'm gonna, going to go to the monthly chart, then weekly, I'm going to skip daily. We're going to look at four hour, eight hour and the two hour chart. These two time frames aren't really uh, showing us much. So first time frame, these are my bespoke uh, support and resistance levels. So the blue line and the red line. You can see here that sell off got extremely close uh, to support and then we bounce to the upside. This weekly chart is the most important chart. Uh, as far as Bitcoin is concerned. Now, if we'd had this set up on an hourly chart, uh, then the correction to the downside, I don't think would have been substantial, but it was a weekly chart. We've had an aggressive move lower, the scope for further uh, move lower over the medium term. And notice I'm saying over the medium term, I think the short term outlook is actually uh, mildly bullish for Bitcoin. Um, the setup, these are DMARC indicators. Uh, okay, so DMARC basically um, I follow uh, extremely enthusiastically. Um, we have nine counts and 13 counts. Nine counts are correction, corrections, I should say. Uh, 13 counts are potential uh, trend exhaustion. We then have something uh, that DMARC uh, talks about, which is known as a TD flip. Um, I've adapted these uh, to my own trading style to highlight or potentially highlight um, tops and bottoms. So here we've got a 13 count, DMARC 13 count on the weekly chart, potentially highlighting a top. We then get this candle here. This is the most important candle, the week 12th of April. It should, it's a bearish outside candle, okay? So what's happened here in this week, we've moved higher, we've made new highs. Uh, sellers have overtaken buyers and aggressively moved it to the downside to here. It's engulfed two weeks worth of previous price action and it's closed negatively. Okay, so it's a bearish outside candle, different than a bearish engulfing candle in the way that it overtakes or, or, or engulfs uh, the whole range of the previous two weeks. Okay, so that is one of my favorite reversal uh, candle formations. Then we've got this here. This is a one count. It, that kept, that's a TD flip. So basically, uh, TD, Tom DeMarc, is basically saying that the bias has gone from being green and we've got a flip and the bias is now to the downside. Notice we've got a flip here, but we have no follow through. It wasn't a reversal candle formation. This one is. Now, what normally happens is that we will get a continuation down to a nine count. So basically seven this week, eight, nine. So on the week of 7th of June, we've got the potential for this move lower to exhaust. Okay, at the moment, it's still looking quite bearish on a medium term outlook. So what we could see is we could see a spike through uh, that support, even a weekly close through that support. But then when we go back to the monthly chart, you got to remember we're nearly at the end of this month, nearly at the end of the uh, the month of May. So consolidate above here until the end of May and spike through lower and then move higher. Okay, as long as we don't close on a monthly basis uh, below 29,000, then the long-term bias is still to the upside. Okay, I hope I'm not losing too many people out there thinking, God, what's he talking about now? Um, so, it has the potential to move lower. We're on a seven count, nine counts, a correction count. So let's go to this time frame. Let's flip to the uh, four hour 
uh, time frame. Okay. 261.8% is down here, 17,139. This, as far as Elliott Wave is concerned, looks like a fourth wave correction. Choppy, mixed, normally in a channel. Okay, let's have a look at a shorter time frame to see what we, um, not a shorter time frame, sorry. Let's have a look at the channel formation to see what's potentially building. And I want to go to this time frame. This is an eight hour time frame. It's not a widely used time frame, but it is for me. As I said, I've got those monthly, uh, weekly, daily, eight hour, four hour, three hour, two hour, one hour. Don't really look below there. Um, so a fourth wave correction is normally in a channel. Uh, an AB equals CD formation is quite common. Uh, so AB, this is the AB leg to the upside. Okay, so we've used the drawing tool on there. You then replicate that to make uh, the BC legs. So if I just move over there like that, that equals AB equals CD. So AB equals CD. I know these are um, differently noted, but uh, that's what I'm looking at. Okay, so channel top coming in around about 44,000. Beast boat resistance coming in around about 45,000. Okay, so choppy price action while uh, this channel formation plays out. And remember, when we're looking at that weekly support, 25th of May, how many more trading days have we got? I mean, obviously, crypto is trading to the weekend. So next Monday, uh, we'll finish uh, the monthly chart. So I think what we're going to do, we're basically going to keep on consolidating in this channel as we uh, have very choppy price action. Um, I want you to remember this level, okay, 44,000, 45,000. If we go to this chart here, okay, this is uh, the two hour chart. We've seen some ch uh, choppy price action. I use Cypher formations, okay, because they're so reliable and because uh, you can get in um, at tops and bottoms of trends uh, quite easily and aggressively. Uh, which is what you want to maximize your risk reward. So I'm just going to show you how this cipher pattern could potentially play out. Um, so this being the main leg, the starting leg, XA. When we move up in AB, this is the panic leg. This is uh, B, um, BC leg where, where a lot of traders think, oh my God, this is it's going to crash through the floor and uh, it's going to continue uh, to the downside. Normally, that leg will stop between 78.6 and 88.6 of this leg. So again, it's quite complicated. I'd recommend uh, taking some work just to um, get yourself uh, accustomed with cipher patterns as well. So this could basically move down to around here, okay, to around about $32, which again is near the low. But what is it also close to? So if we put the trend line on, okay, it's also really close to that channel bottom uh, for, that we were talking about on the eight hour chart. So a move down, gets towards the channel base, then moves back up. And when you get to this level, which is this confluence area, 122, 127.2%, 161.8%, okay, around about $44, $45, that is where uh, you want to be looking at getting out, or I believe you want to be looking at getting out of, uh, of long positions, and there's a potential uh, for a move to the downside uh, to complete that fifth leg. So at the moment, no man's land moving down to here. I wouldn't take that as a buying opportunity because the big picture is still negative as far as I can see. And then a move up to here um, to, to complete uh, a bearish butterfly formation get towards that channel top, get towards beast boat resistance, get towards completing an AB equals CD correction, and get towards completing a fourth wave on Elliott Wave. That's what I believe's playing out. Well, <laughs> time will tell uh, whether or not uh, my analysis is correct. Okay, guys, uh, good luck. I hope you found that informative, not too complicated. Um, have a look at cipher patterns, have a look at DMARC indicators. Okay, all the best of luck and uh, I'll be back again soon. Cheers.